What up? Yes. Okay, we've got it sorted. We've got Marley. Yeah, mate, can you hear me? Oh, we on, babe? So, what do you know? Oh, yeah. It's going to be all time of the night. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, boys. <laughs> Welcome back. It has been a long few months without seeing you, hearing your guys' beautiful voices. It has. When was the last round? The last round was I think it was. Up. Yeah, it was just after I came up and saw you. I came down and saw you guys. You were joking. That was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. The last yeah. year started this year. We did. We did a November, and yeah, that yeah. I basically posted that November video for our December, and we basically had like yeah five months off. Ooh. Yeah, man. Well, we've been busy, man. You've got a new baby, Tom. So have you. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. She's, uh, what is she now? She's like 10 weeks, 11 weeks old, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We both went through the, the, the dramas of changing jobs and, yeah, all our yeah, hours. Just busy, man. Busy. I moved house as well. Yeah, you did too. Yeah. I had a lot of shit to move, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. But... Uh, we got out recently, Thomas and myself. Hell yeah. Uh, we nice. went up to where we go, the high cone, Ooh. up in the high country. Yep. Uh, Tom rode shotgun in the glorious mobile that is the Prado. <laughs> How'd you find awesome. it, mate? That was, that was, that was a life-changing experience. Uh, Prado's on top, mate. It's as uh, simple as that. Prado's on top. <laughs> mm, that's it. Might not be a Land Cruiser, it's not a real Land Cruiser. Yeah, I was hey, going to say that. I was on a Land Cruiser, but it still goes yeah, right. It may not be a Land Cruiser, but it's a bloody good car. Beats the yeah. hell out of any Hilux. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, it was it was an eye-opener to uh, the traction control, man, was next level. But there was some – Marley, there was a bit that uh, a lot of the boys actually uh, – there was one of the boys actually had to winch on in his big 200, and there's just – Andy just – like a little tractor, just crab crawling across the road, and then just finally got grip, and then just pull it up. I'm like, the second it, the second it did that, I thought two things. I'm like, man, that was awesome to be in the car when it was doing that, and damn it, I should have filmed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we done the same on the next rock step, the same thing. Yeah. Just poked, was... just come in, poked at it, and and managed to drive it, so we didn't, you know, didn't get out to film, and then we filmed everyone else going up it. Yeah, and it was just like the, the two bits that we didn't film in the Prado that were just like everyone else was like, did that make it up that? And, I'm like, and we're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they were just like, what? <laughs> Actually, when, when we left at the start, um, the bloke that was passenger with Jace, the, the guy in the GU, the 48, yeah, uh, he actually said to me, he pointed at the Prado and he goes, he's like, are you coming in that? And I, I looked at him and went, yeah. And, and Jace just nudged him and goes, don't worry. He goes, that'll go anywhere we go. And he sort of looks, he's like, are you, he's like, are you for real? Like, where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. They're very, very underestimated, man. Uh, under, yes. Yeah. Underestimated. Should we, should we reissue that challenge again like we did last year, Andy? If anyone can beat Andy in their stupid, capable car on the same size tyres as Andy, mm. then try and give it a go and see if you can oh. do it. I don't know what, <laughs> what you want to put on it, whether you want cash offers or maybe some merchandise, maybe some hoodies, some stickers, something, whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm just up for the challenge. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll eat my hat. That's so good. It, it, was just, it was just epic. And the way that the traction control was really intelligent because you're just sitting there just waiting for it to grip and then it goes, oh, they're bang. And it just, yeah, it just grabs, grabs a little bit, moves itself forward and, and does it again, yeah. And then just, yeah, just claws it up. I have got it stuck. The only times that I get it stuck, it's got real shit ground clearance. Like the um, the fuel tanks are low and the lower trailing arms hang low. So if you're ever in ruts that someone's been through with 35s or 37s, it just gets hung up. But if you can if you can stay out of the ruts and, and avoid shit that's sticking out of the ground, it'll climb up anything. It's ridiculous. So good. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you want a reliable and good car, buy a Toyota. I'm not going to well, say anything else. 
It's the missus <laughs> family bus, man. Like I said, I've got four kids now, so we need a, a car with a back row seat. So yeah. The missus used it to drive the kids to school every day. And I'm, I'm, yep. I made a video recently um, and of like the pros and cons of the Prado. The biggest con of a Prado is Toyota has the most competition in the range. You think of any other yep. four wheel drive, it's for, uh, it's an other, another Toyota that's probably best in competition. What have you got? Your 200, 300 that is still on sale. You've got the Prado, you've got the Fortuna, you've got the Hilux. And if you really want to go back, even if only a few years, you've got the FJ Cruiser as well, too. There's just that well, many. The FJ Cruiser is identical chassis. Yeah. Just a different body, and they only come out with a four litre V6. They didn't come out in a diesel. Yep. Toyota just knows how to sell full wheel drive. Just- oh, they just no. When they when they make something good, they just rebadge it as something else and sell okay. it again and again and put again. A, put a different body on it. Yeah. Well, that's yes. that's. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The same that's with the, the surf. The surf was just a Hilux with a coil ass end, and yep. the, the Prado is really the same thing. It's just a seven seat Hilux with a coil ass end. Yep. Just happy days. Oh, good. Just happy days. Just happy days. And- what have you been up to, Marley man? You've been out lately, or what? Uh, um, well, I recently started a new job at the start of the year because my old job wasn't getting yeah. hours. And yeah, pretty pretty annoying. I was on pretty good money there and everything, but they tried to convince their casuals to go full time. And we were sitting on, I think it was $46 an hour as casuals, and they wanted us to drop down to $29 or $28 on full time. You're joking me. How's a brother? No way. Like I don't roll out of yeah. bed for 35 Yeah. That's yeah. crazy talk. Crazy so talk. it was either keep working there one day a week or one day every fortnight one time I had to do for three hundred dollars a week or my mate got me a job working at a caravan shop building building and test driving and doing some social media for some caravan a caravan company called MDC if you guys know those ones. Mm-hmm. We know those. Yep. Yeah, so just up here in Brisbane at their main head office, um, have a chat with all the boys over there. Fingers crossed I'm gonna get into some of their social media teams and help them out with because I've had a look at some of their social media and it's not the best. And I'm just showing them any way that I can help and I'd be happy to. Good, not good just, quality content, Marley. Good quality content. That's it. Yeah, that's all it is. It's and it's, it's fun content, working mate. underneath them and building them and everything. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yes. So um, there was, uh, there's talk about me possibly going to the Big Red Bash and going up and doing a few trips over to Fraser and stuff. Yeah, them, man. Yeah, get, sh- get shipped around to, for work. That's the go. Yeah, very cool. And it's an industry that I love, which is full driving and camping. That's it. Uh, we've got a, I've got a comment here. Thank you, Mum, for the cookies. Hey, guys, new to the page. I'm currently rebuilding a 2000 Toyota 4x4 dual cab petrol version. So that'll be an N70 4 litre V6. So as we were just mentioning, it's a, uh, it's a dual cab Prado, man. That's all that is. Good car, <laughs> very reliable car. I like them. Good luck with it, mate. Now, the fun game of this as well, too. We can't see your comments, Andy. We can only see our own audience's comments as well. Oh, so. right. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, well, I can't even see mine because my camera's the wrong yeah, way around. see a comment that you want to read, read the whole comment out so we can know what it is. Yep, yep. I, um, I should be using the back camera of mine, too, because my front one's all smashed. That's why it's all blurry. Oh, I'm using my front yes. one. Don't worry about that. Yes, my screen's all smashed. Look, it'll look all right. What's that with the full drive owners and their phones always the camera front on the front's always been smashed? We're just we're rough on the gear, mate. Rough on the gear. Here we go. I got Cody T one. What do you think of the NP three hundred STX? Boys, what do you think of the Navaras? Uh, is that the one with the red badge? The I think older it is the, better. the STX, yeah. The older the better. Cool. Wasn't there like a black blackout version or something they done? I think so. Black ops version, was it? They're definitely a good car as long as they've got a. If they're the manual, I think they're a bit better because the auto sometimes they overheat. I've heard. Um, don't oh, yeah. And they're a coil. They're, they're a coil too. Yeah, yeah they, they are. They're not a leafy. The the, the, new, yeah. the newer ones are. Yes, the the top spec ones are. Mm-hmm. You can mm-hmm. still get them in leafs, so you got to watch out. Yeah. Um, oh, no, the MP three hundreds are all all coiled. All, all MP three hundreds are all coiled. Yep. Um, we, we just took a bog stock one out to a local full drive track here in Brisbane called Genoan Hills. Um, our mate never been full driving or anything, but that car's just so capable from stock. They come with a rear locker and everything. And he was keeping up with some of these twin lock patrols, just doing just easy stuff, just crawling it all up. With yep. it over the two-way radio, no. they have like a, pardon? No lift, standard wheels. 
completely fresh off the showroom floor. That's <laughs> and um, there was a there's a campsite um, radio signal for if you ever get into trouble, you can call the main office so they can come out and help you. We were sitting on that on the on the handheld, and someone said, "Did you guys see this Navara going up this track?" And they were talking about our friend that was driving a bog stock Navara, awesome. never been off off road before, yes. before driving at all. I love that one. Love that catch catching a bit of um, uh, what would you call it when you pick up someone else's signal? Yep. Yeah, you, know, you over here. Like, oh, did you yes. see that that yes. convoy yes. Range Rover just come through? Them blokes are mad. <laughs> no, very stress. cool. Yeah, so good. <laughs> what else did you have you got up to, Marley? Um, yeah, as I was saying, we went over to um, Genoa and Hills last week. Uh, not last weekend, but the weekend before. Um, awesome spot down there. Obviously, because I'm not on as much money as I was, I couldn't afford to take the cruiser down because I'm also paying for my partner with uni. Um, but we went out we're there with all the boys. Um, one of the boys just got a new patrol and another one got an 80 series like mine. Um, we were doing some insane tracks out there. I wish I filmed it, but then every once in a while you need that sort of weekend by yourself where you can just enjoy the moments with the boys and not have to have a camera in their face. Yep, that's it. No, it was a great weekend. I couldn't – every night – I think we – we had four nights there, and just every night you just look straight up after the campfire and just see all the stars and the galaxy just straight over the top of your head. It's insane. So if you guys ever get the chance to go there, make sure you go to Genoa Hills. Definitely, yeah. Um, I was just going to say, as you mentioned that, some of the the best driving and the best nights out that I've had, there's you know no cameras. Like it's it's too dark to film. Yeah. It, um, yeah. Everyone, as you notice when you come down, we got a pretty quick pace about what we do so you don't have the time to get in and out of the car and stop and film and it's just it's a, it's a totally different atmosphere but it's um to be able to capture that you then lose the atmosphere so it's not the same thing is it yeah yeah it's it's one thing to be there in person and do it but then it's yeah, completely yeah. another thing to be able to film it yeah, and be like oh this is what we did do you wouldn't understand yeah. it to try film it and recreate it, it's not going to be the same very true i mean you can basically Try and maybe see if you can get your co-pilot to have the camera, but even he he loses. I'm going to try for the next well. wild dog. I'm going to try have a um, body cam like a chest chest camera. Yeah, yep. right. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see see how that goes. I don't know. I've tried helmet cams and they interfere with the harness and you'd knock them on trees and yep and stuff. And you know, halfway through the race, it's pointing to the sky. The old just dash cam, just out the wind front windscreen footage. It's it's been done. You know, done, done over and over, but uh, so much looking at. Mm. yeah, no, that's wicked. I think body cam because then once I run to the top of the hill, I go then stand back and look back down the hill. So hopefully it'll catch some good, good footage, different, different views. Yeah, definitely. People don't get to see. Oh yeah, I'm very lucky with that. Conscious but, yeah. of where you're pointing your chest and just yes. make sure you. Yeah, you can actually, get some maybe there. they do like a dirt bike helmet mouthpiece one. Maybe one of them. Oh, yeah. my uh, now you'll need to be able to speak. Yeah. You'll need to be able to speak. Yelling at the back of the camera. I'm always out of breath anyway, so you can't hear it. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. So, um, Any trips you guys have got planned for the next year or so? Um, Thank you. I've got a couple coming up. So Wild Dogs one. It's uh it's starting to snow down here again, Marley. We had our first dump of snow today. Oh wow. It's up as here, the you see, Tom, gotten, it's probably it's up cold here in Warrigal. Tom's, Tom's rugged up, he's got his beanie on. Yep. Um I'm yeah, still so we'll, shirt and shorts. Yeah, we'll be doing some snow trips again shortly. Yep. Uh any any viewers down in Victoria want to tag along with that, get in touch. Um We've got Wild Dog coming up. That's in a couple of weeks. So I think we've got four weeks, five weeks. Yep. That's that Wild Dog Winch Challenge, isn't it, Andy? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. my favourite race of the year. That's the – if I could only do one race for the year, that's that's it. That's that's the one. You'll have to come down one year, Marley. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yes. definitely. Yeah. What about you, Tom? Any trips planned for the near future or – Yeah, I've got uh, King's Birthday. Vic, King, King's birthday in Vic is in uh, June. There's a trip on that one that I do with a few of my mates and cousins and stuff like that. We always head into the high country for that. And it we always try and find some very cold locations um, and go snow chase 
We don't like. I don't like sleeping in the snow. Uh, but yeah, we we want to try and see if we can go find some snow. Yeah, definitely. That'll be cool. Um, I've got somewhere along the lines. We'll we'll head up to Sydney and we'll do the Sydney Full Wheel Drive Show. That one's definitely on the card still as well. So um, that I'll be keen to do that. And they're probably. I'll try and see if I can get the week off or at least a few days here and there so I'm not rushing around. And uh, we can have some fun in and around the Sydney Hills. That'd be cool. There's got to be something to do yeah, around that's... there. Yeah, that'll be Bella... awesome. You guys love your snow down there. Yeah, Matt and Bella can show us around uh, doing that as well too. That'd be awesome. Oh, how cool is the 80 series now that it's turboed? It's pretty epic, yeah. It's insane. Is that yours? No, you turboed yours? Yeah, Marlon. She turboed her 1SZ um, and it's pushing about 370 horsepower at the moment. Nice. Next level. That, I think um, she was saying she was, she was going to be happy with 300. Um, yeah. And they got almost 400 horsepower out of the thing and that's on a really safe tune. And it sounds sick. It's just awesome. And they built it over the last few weeks. So it's all on YouTube. If you guys want to go watch that, that should be on. I think, what's their YouTube, Tom? I think it's M- MB Media. That's the one. Yep. And, and then, um, yeah, no, that was cool. And that was weird. Um, any trips for me? My, um, me and my mate Lindsay and a few of our other boys, um, I just threw the, threw the line out there and I said, who wants to get a Cape York next year? And I've got a few little bites, so. I do. Hopefully. I do. The plan is. Next year, yeah. I, could, I might be able to tag along for that next year. Yeah. Oh, if you guys want to come up, I was considering. Well, I was considering posting my car to Brizzy, or even further in Cairns, and then just flying there and meeting them up there. Well, even if you guys can afford to get the car up there, I've got a spare car as well. His place. Yeah. Oh, sweet. I could just post my car up there and then just Mm -hmm. fly. Save myself. What is it? Three or four days. Either way. Yeah. Yeah. And two two days from here from Brisbane. The cost, yeah. the cost of transport is probably also the same as the cost of fuel. So, yeah, and then you're not you're not sick of being in the car by the time you get there. Yep. Yeah. No. So, if anyone wants to sponsor those sorts of videos or get in touch with myself, Tom, and Andy about doing some promotional stuff while we're going up there, fitting out our cars or anything like that, make sure to hit us up on our Instagrams, Facebooks, YouTube's, everything like that. That'd be awesome. But yeah, just going up there. I'm hopefully going to spend about three weeks i'm thinking including my drive up because if you guys are going to post your cars up i'll probably join a drive and then on the way back down i kind of want to try and go over to the the gulf or on the way back down i also want to go past a few of the really secluded beach access places um just to experience that because everyone goes to the cape everyone goes to far north queensland and charles all that but no one ever goes and checks out the small little places that you never hear about yeah and and that's and what need, i'm like, really you need about here. Knowledge. Yeah, you want to get yep. some local knowledge for that stuff. Yeah. Yep, and when I go up there, I'm catching a metre plus barra, and it's going to be that's going to be my new profile picture. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yep. So a bit of camping, full driving, fishing, um, Marley Grubby cooking segments, and we'll have to get a Tom to do a cooking segment with me because Tom's an awesome cook and he knows how to cook way better than I do. Yeah. Don't be modest, mate. Don't be modest. I reckon you're a pretty good cook yourself. I had a really good idea. How's this, um, Tom? So, you know, you camp cooking... Um, pots, your big pot, the fire yep. pot. Dutch I oven. Get sausages. Yeah, the Dutch oven. I want to get a sausage, like a circle, and then wrap it in bacon, and then crack an egg in the middle of it, and then that, put that on two on a bread roll. It's like a sausage, bacon, and egg muffin, but it's like all cooked in one little circle. Ah, we used to, <laughs> it was basically. I used to call it the brekkie lasagna. Yeah. Yep. So you basically you just get your sausages on the bottom. You put a bit of bacon. Yeah, even like if you want baked beans or like tin of uh, spaghetti, a few tomatoes just in there as well and you just crack eggs until it just fills up this pan and then just put it on top of the um, the, the plate, put it like a lid of foil on top and you just leave it for like an hour, come back, slice into it and then you just have this giant chunk, put it in between a bit of bread. Yeah, big lasagna. Yeah, so yeah. good. That sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds 
pretty fucking good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah I'm so keen for that slab of protein that everyone can just chunk in onto. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to be hungry at lunchtime. It's just going to kick straight onto dinner time. Nah, <laughs> need a fair few wee fix to push it through. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we're going to get a convoy to go do that. I think it's the right sort of time. It's the end of the season, so it's going to be a little bit more rainy, but there's not going to be as many people going through, but there's still going to be enough people that if anything happens, there's still going to be support networks for us up there. And yeah, I'm just, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for a lot of people. And yeah, I'm just super, super what, excited. Hopefully going what up there time of year are you thinking? Um, October next year. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah. The 12 think, months. Uh, this, yeah, 17 months from, yes. I think that was last week or last month. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be an expensive trip, but well worth it because a lot of people that's on their bucket list. And for me to be able to say I've done that at 24 by that time would be next level experiences. Let's go, man. You, you holler the, the exact dates, man. Um, I'll be on board. Absolutely on board. Yep. Awesome. Can't that's wait to see you guys up here and we're going to go hit the fucking so we'll go off track. Like that. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Nah. Yeah, that, that's, that's the big news for this year, from, from me at least. And then hopefully. I'm just going to be saving and doing up the 80 series, getting it ready for that. How is old Ruby? It's going. <laughs> it's always going. It's a Toyota. Um, we found out, you know, when I, I ran. Well, we lost We lost audio. Hang on. He must have lost audio. I don't know. And a phone call. Oh, his phone call came through, so he's. I like it, Henry. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And more about Ruby. <laughs> Sorry. You got someone calling um, you. Yeah. Yeah, they got me mum calling. She's probably asking if I'm coming over or not. <laughs> but, um, we'll yeah, so that. when I ran into the embankment at Lavuka, I think I bent my diff. We didn't actually think it was, but now we've done a full new swivel hub rebuild on it. And within two days, it was already leaking from the inner seal. So we think the, oh. the whole diff is bent. So it might be time to chuck some GU diffs underneath it and see how she goes. Nice. Hey, fancy, nice. fancy. If, as you yeah. said, Tom, if the good land cruiser's got bits of patrol in it. Absolutely. Yeah. I will I will admit that patrol does make a good underneath the car, but just the engine bay is not the best. Except if you've got a TB forty eight. Yeah. Yeah, forty eight. Forty eight's a good donk. Yeah. But the um the cruiser's forty fives uh are just as good. Yeah, the F are pretty good. Oh. Yeah. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they love to rev there because they're a double overhead cam, aren't they? Yep, I think so. Yeah, dual overhead cam. That's what the, that's what they do over in Dubai. Then they get eighteen hundred horsepower yes. out of them and then just set yeah. them up. And they love them. They love a bit of boost. Yeah, they love a bit of boost. Saudi spec. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Proper Dubai spec. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty much all the all the stuff from me. Um, yeah, just hopefully doing up the eighty series. I'm looking at it now. Um, doing it up getting little bits and pieces, hopefully work with some companies that I can find that would like to work together with me to get the 80 series ready because obviously it's a big expense and hopefully if even if people can't support us and help me get the 80 series fitted out, I'm just going to take it as it is and just send it. Yep. No wind, just a old farm truck. Maybe I might have to do a new gearbox in it though. That's about it. Oh, uh, you take it slow and steady. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. Uh, yeah, we're getting to the top, boys. There's no stopping us. We're going. Yeah, the, um, yeah. It's it's the it's the journey. It's the event. It's not the destination. It's it's no. the how no you get. Way. Yep. Get there, turn around, and come back. It's 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 all about what's in between. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm so excited. I can't really contain my excitement. I've told everyone at work, everything like that. So as soon as I've told everyone, it means I'm I'm doing it. <laughs> That's it. It's booked in. Never yep. Mind. I've just looked at the time, boys. What we'll do, we'll sign out here. We'll keep the live going, though. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about another subject that I am really, really want to talk about before we move on as well, too. So I'm Thomas. See you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Peace. See you, guys.